Hey, how you doing there? Henry Olson here from Super Simple Guitar and welcome to another 5-Minute Friday. Short and simple little lesson that you can take, make your own, and have a lot of fun with over the weekend. So today we're going to be taking a look at these six... showing you how you can take any major bar chord and go straight from that bar chord and create really interesting and um, recognizable and memorable licks straight out of that chord using this technique okay so if you're interested in learning how to do that and you know broadening your musical vocabulary stay with me all right let's get into it Welcome back. So before we get into it, um, just so you know, I have a free tab for you that's going to have a couple of examples showing you what you can do with these um, moving sixths. And you're also going to get a copy of my picture chord book in case you don't know how to name these chords. For instance, this is a G major, this is a C major, this is a D major, and so on. If you don't know how to name them, and not just this shape, but all kinds of other shapes that are movable, those are all inside of the book. So if you want to get that, um, it's totally for free. There's a link for that under this video okay or above it depending what platform you're on okay so let's get right into it so I'm going to start off on a C major bar chord right and what you're going to do is you're just going to visualize this box but with a couple of notes removed actually all of them except for these two and that's giving us what's called a sixth interval. They're a sixth apart. You don't need to understand any musical theory for now. Just know that they're a sixth apart. Okay. So within this box, you have these two notes. And now you have the possibility to do this cool walk up. Okay. So anytime you're on this bar chord, this walk up is right under your fingertips. Okay. So let's say I want to do it in G. Let's go down to G, third fret. The C was on the 8th fret, now we're on the 3rd fret. Again, visualize this box, we're removing a bunch of the notes, only keeping the one on the 1st string and the 3rd string, and then 1 fret up, you have this shape, and then 2 frets up, you have this shape, right? So, back to C. Okay, so this allows you to do different things, right? When Hendrix um, did his tune, um, Bold as Love, he has this move that goes... Right, he went from that D, but then he did that thing there, right? When Van Morrison wrote Brown Eyed Girl, it's just a lick, right? It's just, right? And by the way, I'm gonna have the tab for Bold as Love for you available as well, okay? You can get all of that in the link under me, okay? So um, yeah, let's now think about um, a couple of cool things that we could do with this. So the first thing would be, you know, if you're playing this chord, you could just go do a cool little walk up. So if it's on a G, if the song is playing a G, you could go in there and go and just do this cool little single note thing. And then if it goes to a C, back to G, right? Because this is the octave. I can't play that bar chord there, but you could, you could get that, right? Okay, so that's one cool thing you could kind of do with it. Just play single lines. Another thing you could do is, you know, kind of in a strummy way. Okay, so when you go for this move here, instead of just playing these two notes, if you're doing it the strummy way, you could also include the second string because it's gonna be really hard to, to mute out that, that note in the middle. You could try to mute it out just by touching it gently. Or you could just play it and have three strings ringing in there instead of two, okay? Both work fine. And then when you go to this next shape, it's gonna be a little easier to mute out because you can use your middle finger to just touch that string gently, okay? So Okay, 
So now what I want you to do is take a song that you're already playing. If it's a G, D, C song, whatever song it is, when you're on one of those chords, instead of just playing it as, you know, open chords, try to do some cool little move, okay? And again, in that tab underneath, I'm gonna have a couple examples that's gonna show you, you know, like the, the typical, the typical walk up and that thing that I did. Those are both tabbed down for you. And you're also gonna get the boulders low. So practice those and then also try to take a song that you're already playing. And if it's a G chord in the two and then try to do something cool with that, right? And it doesn't have to be the exact walk up. You could start here or you could even start here. So if it's on the G, you could go and walk into the G from there. Or if the, again, if the song is like a G, you could start here and start here, slide in here, then go here, right? So, right, so, or, right? There's all kinds of different things you could do. So what I want you to do now is take this, be creative with it, don't be afraid. If you're having trouble muting out you know, the strings when you do the picking thing, don't worry, that will get smoothed over time. What I also like to do is I'll take my first finger to also keep these strings, the fourth, fifth, and sixth string quiet. So this finger is muting out the second string and this finger, my first finger, is muting out the other strings. When you go to this one, you could try to use this finger to mute these out, or you could even try to use your thumb, which is a little bit harder. So again, it's it's a game, you know, I'm not perfect at this either. Um, you know, we're all still trying to get better. You know, even I struggle with these things, keeping everything nice and quiet. So don't be hard on yourself. Take it slow, have fun with it. That's the most important thing, okay? So with that, I say have a great weekend. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe. I love getting new subscribers and I love helping you guys on your guitar journey. It's my calling in life. It's what I love to do. So if you're new here, make sure to come with me on this journey, all right? Okay, have a great day. Have a great weekend. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I'll see you next Friday with another 5-Minute Friday. All right, take it easy. Have a great day. Bye. -bye.